increasing economic activity, a growing population, and climate change are conspiring in putting Zambia's energy sector under pressure. The country's electricity generation is mainly hydro. This has suffered due to droughts in recent years. A few things have happened in Zambia over the last two decades. There's been rising demand for electricity, but there's not been sufficient investment in energy infrastructure. This has caused power shortages, leading to blackouts of sometimes between 12 to 15 hours in parts of the country. While efforts are being made to feed the national grid through other sources such as solar, the country is still unable to meet demand and it can take up to a year of waiting for some residential customers before getting a power connection. This gap presents opportunities for companies such as Kazang Solar to offer solutions. Kazang sells home solar lighting systems that include either a portable radio or a television set from a British company called Azuri Technologies. It's a lighting system and uh, this system come, it basically enables you to power your house and uh, do maybe charge your phone and other smaller things like that. The main thing first of all is that you're bringing light which seems a very simple thing to you and me but when you actually go to the people in the rural areas it's actually life-changing in two ways. One is that uh, it eliminates the need for them to use things like candles. The next thing is also the fact that with uh, the solar home systems we are providing villagers can basically when you get home in the evening another stage of your day continues. One of the beneficiaries of the Kazang and Azuri Solar Solution is farmer Paul Mutunzi. He got the company's television and lighting set that allows him flexible monthly payments. This farm of mine, I'm a little bit isolated. To get information is somebody, it's either from like you, from Osaka, you come here and then share. But this time, it's direct. Maybe I can hear first before you come here because power will go from your house, but here no problem. I can only get worried when there are clouds like this. Uh -huh. The Azuri Technologies and Kazang solar business model works like this. The British company manufactures the home solar systems that include television sets, rechargeable mobile radios and torches. In essence, it finances the solar program in Zambia and has an exclusive distributor partnership in the country with Kazang. The business association is helping in creating jobs and offering entrepreneurship opportunities for agents who are involved in the sales. Analysts say such investments, among others, are making a difference to Zambia's economy. We've seen that in 2018 we brought in $408 million in terms of FDI into this country. And in 2019 we brought in $753 million, a clear indication that there's been growth in terms of that uh, you know, space. Now, the benefits and the impact that it has had over the years has been that, of course, uh, the creation of jobs. Uh, and uh, we've seen many firms that come into the country, uh, bring in uh, uh, the FDIs, have created so many jobs. The Azuri Technologies and Kazang Solar Investment is leading the way in offering alternatives to Zambia's power problems. Other sectors of the economy could also benefit from similar ventures.